Greetings, beloved human family. This is Gilles, and I come to you very briefly to uh, to speak of the, the new astrological uh, energies that uh, we are encountering now, and that will be uh, manifesting in the next few days, as well as giving a little tarot reading to to uh, help and assist in in the understanding of the energies that will be opening on the 12-12 portal. Um, so we are coming into a new moon um, in Sagittarius, where the, it is when the sun and the moon meet, huh? they're both in Sagittarius, the new moon. Um, and so, uh, so since the, the, it, is a, it is very a moon that will, uh, a new cycle, of course, that will help us reevaluate our belief system and to know what is true and what is not true for us. And of course, whatever we feel deep in our heart is more true than anything else. The deeper we feel it, the more powerful it is. Um, what is inside of us is the realm of our soul, the eternal domain of the soul. And, and, and what is outside of us is an ephemeral experience of, of external reality. It is the domain of the mortal mind. Both of them are important and need to be balanced. Uh, but essentially, you have to, to, to decipher what is your belief and, and what, are you, what are you sure about. The more you are sure about something, the easier it is to bring it into into reality, to this reality. So, uh, um, I've been through a little difficult time myself. I was challenged by the planet Nemesis. I had to deal with that, uh, but it's uh, coming to a close of a cycle. Uh, I see soon the planet Ebe, which is a magnificent planet that is coming into my reality. I've been also influenced by Thesis and Iris. And Chiron has been helping me with clearing up all those, uh, those old energies. Um, planets exist outside of us, but they also exist inside of us. As soon as we, we, we bring something into our consciousness, there is a resonance inside. So, so it is important to understand that everything that exists outside also exists inside. Right now, uh, on the 9th of December, Mercury is going to be moving uh, from Sagittarius into Capricornus. So uh, it is going to be about getting more realistic about our goals and desire. What is uh, practical? What can we bring into existence? Not to be lost too much in illusion and, and dreams. Dreams are fine, but we also want to bring them into reality, this reality, this li Earth's life. Um, in the meantime, Mars will be opposing um, Uranus, so that will create a great dynamism in terms of new understanding, new belief system, new spiritual connection and wisdom. Uh, Chiron and Neptune will square the sun and the moon, so that you have to stay flexible, adaptive, to, to remain in touch with your presence in the, in the now moment, in every now moment. And also to accept, to take a close look at wounded aspects of yourself, so they can be healed, transmuted and transcended. The goal is to, so you'd maybe more empowered to share and to communicate, to make your life beautiful and to take care of yourself, to, to, uh, to enjoy more rest and relaxation, to learn to relax deep into deeper state of relaxation. Uh, understand that no matter how things may get or how difficult it may, it may be, it is only a passing, it, it, it's only a little part of what's going on. And, um, Please do not give up on your ascension process. Be patient and uh, continue to love yourself and, and follow the guidance of your soul, of your spirits and of your guides. Uh, 2016 will definitely be easier for everyone who is uh, sincerely intended in achieving a state of spiritual connection and ascension. And so, uh, in terms of uh, the, the reading cards, I, I, uh, the situation is, is, uh, is about uh, being able to truly express your feeling, to, to be truly, uh, uh, the more you are able to express your feeling, your, your true feeling, uh, the, the more you will be able to unfold beauty into your life. Uh, this queen, is the, she, she's looking at herself in the pound, in the mirror, but she knows she's not the reflection, it is just a tool of creation. And so the more you are able to, uh, to express your, your true feelings, the, the more sincere you can become, the more beauty will manifest in your life. The influence around this situation, what surrounds the situation, is the Lord of Obstacles, the Heavenly Master. So it is, uh, it is, the, it is about uh, overcoming obstacles, it is about following the guidance, discovering new level of wisdom. It is about uh, becoming more empowered, becoming more sure of, your, of yourself, to feel more comfortable within your own shoes, within your own life, so that you may become a creator, more conscious creator. And that is what is coming about because the, what is in our conscious mind is the fool. The fool is the is the one who has been through the whole cycle of creation and uh, and it is, is now free to, to leap into any kind of future. He has no fear. It's, it's completely. It's about love. It's about freedom. It's about uh, see. He's, he's, he's wearing rags actually uh, in this uh, this take. But no matter, although he's wearing rags, his, his freedom is, is really what is his wealth and treasure, and that allows him to move into anything. 
if he wants to to he is not bound by the material uh, limitation and so so it is very it is a, it is a quantum card uh, to understand the quantum level of reality where you can actually leap into any kind of future and and the more you can integrate that future you can then you can um, you can make it real you can manifest it uh, the subconscious is uh, is the seven of uh, the seven of cup and uh, which is a distant past and so uh, here we, we have a, we have a guy that's sleeping and he's dreaming all those many things but those dreams those many things were, were there were so many things that they were all scattered and there wasn't very much satisfaction in enjoying this one thing that we really wanted because we were distracted by so many things but that is the past now we we are moved into a situation where we can find contentment within the now except that uh, all the all the, the the illusions of the past are gone and create a new something new for the for for, for your life and understand that uh, your blessing your grace everything is already there the more you can realize that the easier it will be for it to manifest then in the, the immediate future we get wealth we get riches we get abundance we get prosperity it is a king that's riding a um, a, a, a somewhat white uh, tiger. It's a very, very powerful, powerful uh, master of, uh, of wealth and abundance and, and prosperity. And so this is all becoming available. It is a matter of being open to it, open to receive it, uh, open to create whatever situation you need to create in order to, to open yourself to, to greater abundance, greater flow, greater joy, greater freedom. In this situation, we are the page of cup. So the page of cup is uh, is the one that needs to uh, to break down all the the, the old walls and not to be uh, to be uh, enclosed and uh, trapped into anything. So you got to break break free of that that old uh, box and, and move into a far greater box that will be far better. And so the the thing is, once you break something, you got to move forward. You don't never go backwards. So you because if you go backward, you return into the box. But so once you break the box, you have to move forward and get out of it. So that will be essentially the the mission to let go of those old limitations, but the universe will help. Um, then on the outside world, what surrounds us, from what comes to us from the outside world is a kind of strength. It is a master that is stronger than the tiger, he's, he's actually controlling this great tiger of fear and he's got no fear. And so because he's got no fear, he's able to, to enjoy this great um, this lust, this strength, this, this beautiful energy from the heart. And, and this is coming to us from the outside world, so be open to receive that. Then on the inner plane, on the inner emotional level, um, we have the stars. It's Master Lao Tzu with, uh, with some uh, celestial, um, celestial um, birds and, and a deer, and, and there is a. So, so it is. It is very much about crystallizing your, your thoughts and allowing this uh, your thoughts to become unified, to become uh, not polarized, not to be in conflict, not to be. Um, so that you can be harmonized within a, a crystalline form of structure and in your mind, in your so, so everything is integrated. Your mind and your heart become one, and so you may from there you may be able to to allow your greatest dreams, your greatest possible reality from your soul to unfold for you without having to struggle with it. And the key of, of the reading, the key of all that is the Ace of Spades, which is a self empowerment. It's success. It is enlightenment. It is. A sense of, uh, of of being able to to really act upon your will and to to make a conscious choice of, of what, whatever you do, you become conscious of of being both at the cause and the effect of your life. To be to be a creator and and to uh, to fully enjoy your life to to in every moment and, and no matter what the situation and circumstance may be. I hope this reading was interesting for you. Don't forget the meditation on the twelve, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Namaste.